morning. We're off to a cold, wet start, so even if you don't feel like you need the umbrella, you'll want a better coat than yesterday, as temperatures are running several degrees lower across much of northern Utah. That being said, we are above freezing in Salt Lake at 38, barely above that in Logan, uh, where it's 33. Farther south, low 40s in Green River, but a chilly 28 in Milford and uh, starting out in the low 30s currently in Cedar City. Now we've got some showers in Washington County, Iron County, a uh, little bit of wet weather, a little more widespread actually in the northern part of the state with some of the heavier showers over the last hour or so in the Salt Lake Valley. And some of those are still coming down, but they've moved a little further east. So primarily on the east side, that's one of the big trouble spots where you're gonna have to deal with some of the slick roads, but those will actually be pretty widespread across the north today, including some uh, snow up in the canyons, possibly a little bit of accumulation over the higher terrain. We've got a big trough of low pressure over the uh, western United States with a couple disturbances embedded within that, and those are going to send a cold front south across Utah. That'll be the leading edge of that precipitation. That'll be most likely in the north this morning with valley rain, mountain snow, but again, heading into the afternoon, things let up quite a bit in the north, while south of Utah County will get valley rain, mountain snow with possibility of some isolated thunderstorms popping up in the central and southern part of the state during the afternoon with the possibility of one to three inches of snow in the mountains, possibly three to five inches in some of the heavier showers, but the storm will move through pretty quickly and even by this evening, most of that will be tapering off. Now we're forecasting 47 in Salt Lake City, so uh, dropping back down a little bit below average for this time of year. 41 in Logan, upper 40s in Price, upper 50s in Moab, in St. George, you'll make it up to 61. Widespread wet weather today, but by tomorrow, will be drying out. Sunny in St. George, late day canyon winds possible. High pressure builds this weekend, warms us up. Hopefully that'll be the consolation prize for the fact that daylight saving time begins and you'll lose an hour of sleep. But temperature will climb all the way into the upper 60s heading into the early part of next week. And in Salt Lake City, we're gonna drop into the upper 20s tomorrow morning. Pretty chilly behind this storm, but with that high pressure building, nice warm up this weekend, mostly sunny, Low 50s by Saturday, upper 50s by Sunday, and then more wet weather by the first half of next week.